Hello and welcome to this demo. Today we're going to look at how easy it is to protect our AWS workloads natively through Vim Backup and Replication. In this scenario, we're starting with a fresh backup infrastructure of Vim Backup and Replication and we simply want to go and protect our AWS workloads. Once we have Vim Backup and Replication deployed, the first thing that we do is navigate to the backup infrastructure and we go to our managed servers. We simply right click and select add server. This is where we can add all the infrastructure that we want to protect through Vim backup and replication, whether it's VM vSphere, Microsoft Hyper-V, Windows or Linux agents, or if we want to protect our workloads running in the public cloud. We're going to select this option and then select Vim Backup for AWS. Now we have two choices here. If we were an existing Vim Backup for AWS customer, we would be able to connect to an already existing appliance. But in this scenario, we simply want to deploy a new appliance because we've never protected our AWS workloads before. So we'll pick this option and click Next. Now you should add your AWS account by providing the AWS access key and secret key. I have already provided mine, so I'll pick it. Then you select where you want to deploy your appliance and which data center. In case you've never installed a Vim backup for AWS appliance before, click on this link and accept the license agreement. If this is not the edition that you want, you can just click here on Vim and look up for the edition that you want. I usually use the free edition, which can back up up to 10 instances with full functionalities like the enterprise edition. So you just have to click continue to subscribe, sign in, and then continue to subscribe. Going back here, we'll click next. We give the instance a name. I'm going to call it VBR. VBA demo, and you can give it a description. Next, you have the option to either use an existing VPC configuration or create new ones. So I'm going to create a new one. Similar for the subnet, I'm going to create a new one. And for the security group, I'll leave the default public IP address. Click next. Now, you have the option of picking either a dynamic or static IP address for this instance. I'm just going with the dynamic IP address, but if you had elastic IPs configured in the data center in the virtual private cloud, you could also pick a static IP. Click next. Now you can create some administrator credentials for the appliance and pick a key pair. I already have one and I had already created a key pair in the AWS console. If you don't have any, you should go and create one. Now it's just the case of waiting for the appliance to deploy. Once the configuration is complete, we can click next and we'll see a summary of the Vim backup for AWS appliance. We can see it was deployed successfully, where all the options. We also have now the ability to create an AWS object storage backup repository directly through this Vim backup and replication wizard. Just tick the box and click finish. We'll leave the appliances, the appliance that we just created. Then we give the repository a name and a description if we want. Then click next. Choose your AWS account, the region, and you can leave the gateway server as default. Next, we select the data center that we want and we can browse for buckets. I can pick a pre-existing bucket that I had already created. If I need, I can refresh it or I can also create a new bucket. If I want to make the bucket immutable, I have to tick this box. 
Next, we can enable backup file encryption and add passwords into this for encryption. Finally, we click Apply. Once we have the backup repository registered, we click Next. We can see the summary again with all the details about what we've configured and we'll simply click Finish to end. Now we have a Vim backup for AWS Appliance deployed, allowing us to go and protect our infrastructure in AWS. If we go on the Home tab and the Backup Jobs, we can see that automatically a VPC configuration backup job was created and it will run and detect all our virtual private cloud configuration settings across all our data centers that we have configured into our AWS account. Now we can create our first backup job. We right click and we go through the menu option here and we choose AWS and we can specify whether we want to create an EC2 or an RDS or an EFS backup job. I'll click on EC2 and we'll be directed to the Beam Backup for AWS console. The web browser may display a warning not notifying that the connection is untrusted, but this is normal and you can just go ahead and click on advanced and continue or you can replace the TLS certificate that is currently used to secure traffic between the browser and the backup appliance with a trusted TLS certificate. You'll be presented with an overview of new features. You can skip this for now, and then you can proceed to create an EC2 policy to start backing up your EC2 instances. It's that simple. If I go back here as well and I go to backup infrastructure, whenever I want to go back to the console, I can click on open console and I don't even have to log in because it already has my information when I created Vim Backup for AWS through Vim Backup and Replication. And that's it. This was a short demo on how to deploy Vim Backup for AWS through Vim Backup and Replication. Thank you for watching this demo. I hope it was helpful. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And also, if you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I would be more than happy to help you. Thanks so much and see you on the next video.